Hey guys, I want to show you some of my favorite spot in the night market. This is spoil of it. They have really good drop out. And I'm going to show you how this looks like. How this is made of. about Tonghua Street is the Hu Jiao Bing, the black pepper bean pie. And there's just a, out of nowhere hole in the wall, but it's so busy. They open at six o'clock in the morning. They sold out, they sold out, but everybody loved those Hu Jiao Bing. They all lined up to get it. We're a little late already, because we have jet lag. Let's see if they have any left. Check it out. This is the owner of the shop. Let's take a look. It's amazing. Well, come back next time. The most amazing thing is that we have the whole thing empty, which is dollar twenty-eight. Wow. Well, we'll come back tomorrow. Mmm. This is a Hu Jiao Bing, the black pepper pipe. Let's dive into it and see what's in there. The bad thing is only for you. Look at this thing coming out. How was it? Really good, but hot. So you gotta let it cool off. Another thing that Taiwan really famous of is the little snacks. So we walk a little bit and we get really hungry. We decided we're gonna stop by and try some little hole in the wall restaurant, see how they go. And they have like a little mini oyster soup that is only 80 for the large ones for the 80 NT, which is about literally under $3 a bowl of oyster soup. See the, how they go. Take a look of surrounding. This is literally a hole in the wall. Let's see. when it's just overpowering the soup is so good so fresh i'm gonna go enjoy my lunch now see you a little bit hey guys there we are at the middle of nowhere in the mountain but there's a coffee shop right here check it out so this coffee shop located in the middle of the mountain out of nowhere it's really cool you got some outside seating and Look at that, there's a park right here. I'm gonna show you where we're gonna sit inside the coffee shop. Let's go. The place it is called Wow Cafe. It is wow. Let's go in there, check it out. and get greeted by a black cat.
not a local secret that I'm going to share with you is the dumpling work. It's about three minutes walk from my house and they serve all kind of things on dumpling, especially the juicy dumpling. And downstairs, they have some hot Chinese dessert as well too. So you got two in one. You got a hot dessert, you got a juicy dumpling, and you got all kind of things on you want 24 hours a day. That's awesome, isn't it? And this best thing is three minutes walk from my house. How could you not come here? Not only they have a juicy dumpling, they have all the small dishes that you can take for yourself. Look at all this. Isn't that delicious? Mix the sauce. I'm just gonna show you what I order for appetizer first. This is the typical sauce you order for the juicy dumpling. You put a little vinegar and soy sauce. You don't need a lot of sauce because the juicy dumplings already have a soup inside. This is the dishes I usually pick up as a side dishes, which is the cucumber with the vinegar and hot pepper. This is the fried pork chop. Mm, look at that sizzling skin. Isn't that delicious? Can't wait for my dumpling to get here. After five minutes we wait, my juicy dumplings here. Just for you to know, you can't just order juicy dumpling and come right out because it takes time to steam. And you don't want the juicy dumplings sitting that they're waiting for you because it won't be good. The soup will not be inside. You have to be steaming hot as over. As you can see. Oh, look at this. This one is the crab juicy dumpling and this one's regular. We order those side by side so we can see which one is better. Let's eat. All right guys, so I'm gonna try the regular first. That way I can know what does a regular taste like before I try the crab dumpling. Look at this. It's supposed to take one bite, then the soup come up first. Wow. Look at this. All the soup is coming out. You guys, I wish you guys were here. Mm. Damn, those little suckers. I can eat 12 of this, no problem. All right, I'm gonna shut off the camera so I can finish those little soccer now. See you later. Guys. Now I'm back. The second one I'm gonna try is the crab juicy dumpling. How do we know which one is which? They have those a little fish shake on the top of the crab juicy dumpling. Let me dip in those the vinegar and soy sauce first. Ooh, look at all this bouncy juice inside the dumpling. Bounce, bounce. Well, wow, there's a bouncy, bouncy dumpling. Oh, I better not play with my food. Hmm. I don't know if you guys saw that. Oh, the juice drop on my phone. That's how much juice they have in this juicy dumpling. Oh my God, I better clean my phone a little bit, so. When I talk, I won't smell like dumpling for a whole day. Mm. Now I had the crab dumpling and regular dumpling. I can tell you that. The regular dumpling had a stronger flavor on that um, because the ingredient made of a pork. The other crab dumpling is a lighter flavor. Um, uh, lighter but more mellow flavor. Depends on what you like. Leave the comment below. If you like lighter, juicy dumpling with your crab meat inside, how do you like the regular traditional pork dumpling? Well, I, I would love to hear from you. All right, I really need to concentrate eat this before my friend here eat all the dumpling. We'll be right back. I think this place has is this dessert. 
like I told you earlier. Those are typical Asian dessert. Look at this. It's made by tofu. It's a sweet Sweet soup, sweet sugary soup with the soft uh, peanuts in there. Look at that. The bowl like this, it is uh, 55 MT, so it's about a little bit about a dollar, over a dollar fifty maybe, almost two dollars. How much is that total cost us? Just to remind you, we have a two pots of con dumpling, eight pieces each, so that's 16 pieces of juicy dumpling, appetizer, fried pork chop, and the dessert. Did you guess? That's right, that is totally 590 NT, which is a little bit under $20. Wow. Isn't that amazing? I feel I'm robbing the store right now. I better run. Hey guys, I just want to show you the another lunch spot is over here. Isn't that looks fancy? It's the Japanese hot pot place. Isn't the place looks fancy? But don't judge book by the cover. Let me show you the price here. All right, this is their lunch special. And the regular lunch special is about 350 NT, which is a little bit over $10. It's about $12 around there. And look at this the combination platter. It's $3.30, so it's even less than $12. Look at this. Look at the marble. This is a short ribs platter meal pot pot. 400 NT. Wow. That's, a, that's about $12 right there. And the combination platter with the short ribs is about $12 also. And look at this. Look at this. The Wagyu beef luxury meal with all the beef tom, Wagyu beef, chicken, pork belly, shrimps, Miso soup, salad, drinks, and all that. Guess how much does that cost? Guess how much that would cost you? For three people, it would be 34.20 NT. You just divide it by 33. That's how much it's gonna cost you. So it's a little bit about, it's a little bit about 120. It's a little bit about 120 for all this me and fee for three people. If you're ever in Taipei, stop by this place, get your Wagyu Ha Pa. We are not in Paris, we're in Taipei. I look what I found. There's a pot here. If you guys been to Paris, you know there's a really famous French restaurant called Paul. They are also in Taipei. But today is raining and cold. That's why I'm having this jacket on. Another thing you can do in Taipei when it's raining day is we have so many shopping malls. The mall here is like indoor with a food court, a lot of like activity you can do, a lot of shops, a lot of uh, entertainment place you can do. Uh, we're gonna check it out. This place, particular one, is called Sogo. They have quite a few all over the city and all over different city too around the Taiwans. We're gonna check it out and see and show you what's... This particular one we're gonna check it out is called Sogo. They have a, quite a few Sogo throughout the Taiwan. We're gonna show you what's inside of Sogo and the food court looks like.
right, now we're at the P2, which is the food court. I'm gonna show you what does the food court under the Taiwanese uh, department store look like, particularly Sogo's uh, food court. Let's check it out. Another thing about Taipei is it's the most uh, coffee shop in the port capital. Like right now, we walked for a little bit and we decided to stop by this little cozy coffee shop for a coffee break. Look at this. It's a local coffee shop full of different flavors. Pretty unique coffee shop. Look at this. 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 Look this sesame latte cost me 90 NT, which is about three dollars. I'm gonna check it out and let you know how that tastes. Hmm, not bad. It tastes like latte with the uh, the hint of sesame. Sesame could be overpowering. Um, I think this is just right. It got a little more thickness to the coffee and kind of wash away the bitterness of the coffee but bring out the the flavor. I don't know if that makes any sense but that's a great thing to try. Mm. Love it. No, I wouldn't drink coffee any other way but with the black sesame. It's about lunchtime. I'm at the little Hawaiian Award by, by the Presidential Palace. They have a udon here. We're gonna have a seafood udon. 
Guess how much this will cost me. Each noodle is about hundred dollars. We ordered the seafood noodles so as one thirty. Wow, that's a really good deal. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got a clam, you got tofu, you got a fish, you got, oh wow, I even got some scholar. And some pork, some fish bowl, some veggie, some egg. Not to mention the egg is super expensive right now. And all this for 130 NT. Isn't that a vlog? You know what? All right, I'm gonna take Okay, I'm gonna take it first. The most important thing for the noodle is the soup. Let me try it. Mm. The natural sweetness of the seafood and the udon with a little miso flavor on them. All this, I can't believe all this for 130 NT. So it's like a four dollar US. Man, I'm gonna enjoy the soup now. See you a little bit. in Taipei is the coffee shop. We're in another coffee shop today and they have a, a baking shop behind the coffee shop. That's quite interesting. Take a look back here. So you can bake back here and you can have uh, your coffee right here. They also have a cake here. You can order. Look at all this cake. It's ranging about hundred to hundred thirty dollars, which is the uh, four dollar. Very nice, cozy coffee shop. It's perfect for the afternoon tea. Just let you see the price. I ordered a latte, which, which is about eighty-five dollar and tea. A little bit under three dollar. It's such a nice coffee shop. Look at my latte, so pretty. Hmm. Perfect latte for the afternoon. Well, give you another boost. Cheers. There are many, many more food in Taipei. Never have to worry about food shortage here. I'm going to end it up with my tour in Dingwall Buffet. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye-bye.